Good Time Crew. Good Time Crew. I hope that you have brought your thinking caps, pens, oh, pencils, mine? and spectacles. Oh, wait. Because I got some. these glasses are dirty as all, dude. Are these yours? These are so no, dirty. No, they're not mine. These glasses it are says these. something on it. Blas Blimpama Plasma. Somebody who donate plasma got a free pair of fake glasses. Uh, <laughs> I got mine on. Anywho, um, we've come to learn. We have come to learn. We should have brought notepads and stuff. You guys see the Constitution. You see, there's some discrepancies here and because people think they know the Constitution, but they don't know the Constitution. Right. So we today, are people. We're going to break <laughs> it down. Saying. We're going to break down the Constitution uh, yes. at a child level. Don't we look good in glasses? The Constitution for kids. We look nice in glasses, guys. I'm not wearing glasses, but let's figure out what's right. going on. I'm just, these are my learning, my learning my spectacles. optics. Spectacles. All right, let's go. In this video, we are going to learn about You're something yelling. very important called the Constitution. Constitution. That's right, the Constitution. The Constitution is a very special document for the United States of America. <laughs> That's it. He's talking so slow. It was written in 1787. It was the plan for how the government of the United States of America would run. It was important for the United States to approve a constitution so everyone would know how this new government would operate. Mm. Operate. Hey, did you know the constitution has a nickname? Does That's it? right. Just like you might have a nickname, the Constitution of the United States has a nickname too. The Constitution is called the highest law in the land. It has that nickname because it truly is the highest law in the land. Every other law is supposed to follow and respect the Constitution. Constitution. Did you guys know that it was called the highest law in the land? I think we learned something new today. <laughs> All right, good time crew learning. I didn't know that was the nickname. I just thought that's what it was. It's, it was supposed to it's be nicknamed the, the highest law in the land. Okay. Uh, although the nickname is longer than the actual name. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's for kids, and he's talking like this. I feel like we're learning. I feel slow. 1789, right? Continue. 1789, right? I don't remember. You weren't listening. Okay. I don't remember. Government leaders are called to follow the Constitution and make sure that no laws are passed that go against what is written in the Constitution. The Constitution is the law that all other laws are supposed to support and follow. It's a law that is bright So the, the Constitution yeah. is a special document written in 1787. It is a written plan for how the government of the United States works. It has a nickname, the highest law of the land, because every other law is supposed to follow the rules found in it. Now we are going to look at some specific things that make the Constitution so amazing. The con I feel like we should really be writing this part down. Um, I think, okay, well, or we could just go back and watch it. <laughs> I mean, the, the point of the video is to learn. I know. If you didn't come here to learn, you can leave. You know what? I didn't come here to learn. Oh, I talked a lot in school. <laughs> I don't remember this part in school. The Constitution has a lot of words in it, but none as famous as the first three words. The first three words of the Constitution are written with big letters and say, We, we the, the people. people. Why do you think the Constitution begins with those words? Why does the Constitution begin with we the people hmm. those are the words that open the Constitution because that idea is the cornerstone of our country you see the US government exists for the people by the people one of the reasons the colonists fought for independence from Great Britain was to get liberty and freedom for the people the Constitution starts with we the people because it is not just written to set up the United States government. It is written for the people, by the people. Well, You see, the Constitution not only was the plan for how the United States government would work, it also protects people's rights. Hmm. 
The Constitution is made up of seven articles and 27 amendments. The seven articles mainly focus on how the United States government works. The 27 amendments are additions to the Constitution that came after 1787. Many of the amendments are written about the rights that people in our country have, while other amendments have clarifications about how the United States government works. None of the amendments contradict each other or contradict any of the seven articles. The first ten amendments to the Constitution are known as the, the Bill, Bill of, of Rights. Rights. They protect the most basic freedoms of every American citizen. Rights are things that everyone should be allowed to do. For example, the First Amendment of the Constitution guarantees us freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly. And freedom of the press. Can we talk about these things for a second? <laughs> Do we feel like we all have our freedom of speech? No. It, is there is there freedom in this land? Sorry. Is there this like is really bothering me? Freedom. Is there freedom in the land? We need to have a discussion about this. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I think they're missing a couple because I could have sworn there were five. It's like freedom of press also, and um, it's really dark in here. <laughs> it's dark good. Um, I think it's fine. Call this guy a liar. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that he didn't put in the freedom of, of press. Okay. Because it's speech, religion, assembly, press, and... You calling this guy a liar? No, but he didn't put freedom of the press. Okay? I mean, what am I saying? <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? There are some freedoms that took a long time, but finally got added to the Constitution. There we go. For example, the 13th Amendment outlawed slavery. The 15th Amendment finally gave African Americans the right to vote. And the 19th women. Amendment gave women the right so I knew to that. vote. I paid attention. I learned that like the 11th grade. Just like amendments have been added in the past, there may be more amendments that could be added in the future. Yeah, I don't think Maybe so. in your lifetime there may be 28 or 29 or even 30 amendments. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. That is the Constitution, the highest law in the land. With seven articles and 27 amendments, the Constitution not only shows us how the United States government operates, it also shares the rights and freedoms we have as American citizens. Share what you learned with a friend and let us know in the comment section below what freedoms are you most thankful for? Huh. I'm it. thankful for the power to vote. Yes. But let's talk. Let's let's be honest. I'm for a thankful here. for the right to bear arms. Let's let's talk about this for a second because if we're being honest, the Constitution is not going to be amended anymore. When's yeah. the last time that was even amended? Like in the 40s? I don't actually remember. I That's know. something we need to look up. Or you guys can comment in the comments. Yeah, you guys let us know. But I think the women's right to vote thing happened in the 40s. And that was 19. Mm. So there was only a couple more after that. It was like eight more after that. Yeah, I mean, because it takes a lot to do that. And then... It's a lot of work. And it's yeah. a lot of... Because the thing is, I feel like we've gotten so far away from believing in the Constitution or listening yeah. to what it says. Some people have, and then some people still believe. That's why I said the right to bear arms, because, you know, a lot of people really believe in the Second Amendment yeah. a lot, still well, to this day. The freedom of speech thing would have worked, but the thing is, they, there's different mediums now. I mean, there was yeah. not a phone. There wasn't the internet. There wasn't YouTube back then. I was about to say, freedom of speech is so relative. Freedom yeah. of speech, sure. When freedom you're... of speech, you can go outside and tell the neighbor that his house is ugly. Right, but you can't use your freedom of speech on certain platforms because they can just say, well, we're going to kick you well, off. We're going to kick you off. Freedom of speech, not us. No, nah, <laughs> that means freedom is not, it's like they freedom only matter. not completely free. Yeah, unless, you know, public government systems, which is technically when it's supposed to matter. But yeah. even still, you can get in trouble for saying things. Exactly. <laughs> 45 had to learn that the hard way. Because <laughs> it's not free. Freedom of speech yeah, ain't free. Freedom of speech ain't. You said too much. You said the wrong thing. This is true. But you know what? I will say about this video. It would have been cool if people made videos like this when we were in school. They did. Because I feel like the way... I believe they were called Schoolhouse Rock. 
<laughs> See, okay, Schoolhouse Rock was cool, but I think my problem is when we were learning about the governmental systems, I feel like there was no really good way to make it appealing to us as young kids. We were just like, it's a bunch of jibber jabber and why do we care? I'm gonna be honest, there's still not a reason to really care. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but in school you're forced slavery, to learn Slavery's it. over according to that. Okay, that all happened before we was ever born. So it's kind of like, hey, that's a cool thing to happen, but it's kind of like, this is really useless information today. Now listen yeah. to me here, guys, because when I say I'm useless say, information, you gotta listen to me. It doesn't benefit me to know when the dates were because they don't change to what's happening right now at all. You can oh, know what was going on without being able to spit back every single date. Yeah, you that know, doesn't we, help. We definitely got tested on the dates. Yeah, but currently that doesn't help. Most of the yeah. stuff that you learn in school doesn't really help right now. Yeah, and it doesn't lead you. I mean, you know that whole conversation. School is not really meant for you to, you know, succeed in life. You know what I mean? It's just meant for you to cooperate, basically. <laughs> and for you to take up time until you turn 18 and you're yeah. <laughs> able to get out in the workforce. Because how many things did you, in your adult life, can you be like, oh, so glad I learned that in school. Oh, the Pythagorean <laughs> theorem, thank you. <laughs> oh, what would I do? Yeah. And what uh, would I do without y equals mx plus b? <laughs> the yes, the Whew. quadratic. Is that right? And the slope formula. What would I do without that? Yeah, my nephew told me oh. yesterday he's doing slope in school oh, right a now. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Jeez, <laughs> at work. I needed that the other day. Right. None the things of that this you learned in life mattered. happened in life. They were life skills. You learned how to change a tire because you had to. Exactly. Because that's a life skill. Not because school taught me. Although in school I did learn how to make cheddar bay biscuits from red lobster. Oh, and I learned how to make lemon squares. You guys were late. <laughs> lemon squares are I love lemon squares. We'll see you next time. Let us today. know if you actually learned something in this yes. video. Let us know if you found this video useful and link other videos down below that we can learn from. Yes, let's learn together, guys. Thanks, the guys. Good time crew. We'll see you next time. Also, find me a barber because mine is giving up. And now <laughs> I have succumbed to the afro. <laughs> This is real, guys. This is my real and life. Not a mobile barber, okay? This is my real life. <laughs> We'll see you next time.